Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Rahul and in this video, we'll be creating a directory brute force tool using Python. So welcome to this video, wherein we learn how to create a few cybersecurity tools and projects using Python. So I've created a few of the projects and it is in the same playlist itself. So you can go ahead and watch it. But before I show you the code itself, let me just dry run it for you first. As you can see straight away, it tells me how to use it. I can use the tag H for the help menu or tag W for the word list and tag U for the URL. So it can, as it says that the following arguments are required, which is tag W for the word list or tag U for the URL. So let's just use a word list that I've created and tag U HTTPS github.com. Now, if I run it, you'll see that all the status codes and the um, directory are being listed. So it will list everything except for the pages that return 404. Now you can play with the code itself and make it a bit more advanced by you know following a 301 response code just like we get to see in a in in GoBuster. So this is a pretty basic one. You can create and add more flavors to it as well. And I'll be giving you an assignment towards the end of the video. So so let's just see what I've used. So as you can see, I'm except uh, everything is being accepted in the command line itself and in the one line itself. So how do we do that? We can do that with the help of arc parser. So I've created a few projects using arc parser itself. So you can use arc parser to have this feeling uh, so have this uh, layout. Otherwise, you can also make the user accept line by line. The second thing I've used is headers. So I have manually imported or made a new header so because many times what will happen is many websites will uh, will have a reverse proxy set wherein they will block your header and block your request based on the headers that you have so i have created my own header wherein i have set it as macintosh mac os x just to be on the safe side now what happens is as soon as i type tag w in the arc parser what will happen is that word list it gets saved in the arcs dot word list uh, variable now what happens is I am sending, I'm opening it and reading it line by line. And once that is being read line by line, I am taking the URL and appending the line or the word list to it. And then using the requests module, as you can see here to check for the response code uh, to check for the status code. And if the status code is not 404, as you can see, which is displayed by the line, I will print it out on the terminal itself. Also, I've added uh, an HTTP. I've added a few lines of code that will check if there is an HTTP or HTTPS in the URL. So if there is completely fine, I've written pass. But if there isn't, I'll ask the user to enter a URL schema. So let's just see that in action. So if I remove the URL schema, you will see that it will say, please enter a URL schema. So this is a pretty bare bone and basic uh, directory brute force tool. Now what you can do is you can add an extra argument towards itself uh, towards this project, wherein you can add extension by um, as per the user's choice and it will append that extension towards the end of uh, the word list. So you can check for dot PHP dot TXT and dot zip as well. You can also make it a bit more colorful that makes it pretty um, a more alive. So it depends upon your imagination and what you can do with this code. So this code can be found in my GitHub repository. The link will be given in the description. Go try it out. Thank you.